Well, this afternoon we are watching our temperatures climb above zero, but still running pretty cold here in the valley. This is our live view right now down at the Dakota Magic Casino along the South Dakota state line. The flags here that we usually see whipping in the wind, that's been the norm lately, not moving much at all. It's pretty quiet out there with light wind and a little bit more cloud cover as you see in the distance uh, for our view as we're looking down into South Dakota toward the south there. Uh, and that's an area where we have some areas of snow and cloud cover. Now, not necessarily where we are in our viewing area, but a little farther south. You can see down by Sioux Falls. It is lifting to the north and east, so uh, soon to impact places like the Minneapolis Twin Cities area. And at times we see some of this uh, cloud cover and that combination with a little bit of light blue on the map indicating a few flakes, a few flurries that makes its way into our very southern communities. So places like Sisseton, Wheaton, perhaps seeing a flurry or two at times today, but head farther north and we are clear Fargo Moorhead. We can see that snowpack uh, in our view here. In fact, we can make out the Cheyenne River here uh, within that snowpack right now. So again, uh, we have added more snow to the system and it's certainly on the heavier side in the Southern Valley, but today getting a little break from that and the wind as well. Here's a look at our temperatures. We are climbing above zero in a lot of spots. Wapaton, Gwinter, Oaks still at two below there. Fargo's at three. It's two below in the Grand Forks area, a colder nine below zero in Hallock and right at zero in Bedette, Detroit Lakes and down toward Wadena and up in Devil's Lake where we don't have a wind chill because the wind's too light for that. Some places again experiencing a little bit of wind, just enough to bring our wind chills down into the teens below. So still pretty cold for your noon hour. Certainly better than this morning, though. And wind chills that or wind speeds rather that are very light, less than 10 miles per hour. And in some cases, like in Fargo and back over to Bemidji, we're reporting calm air right now. So clear skies, those clouds to the south may lift a little farther north. So Fargo Moorhead kind of right on the edge of that cloud deck. And we will see temperatures this evening that start to dip once we see that sunset. So we'll end up with some sub zero numbers into this evening. Later tonight, they continue to drop into the double digits below zero, some teens to about 20 below to start off your Friday morning. Still on the clear side, so we get more sunshine on the way for your Friday. And looking at some frigid conditions to start with those wind chills again around 30 below in a lot of spots. And the wind will be picking up a bit on Friday. So heading through the morning hours and into the afternoon, wind speeds are not super strong, but we're looking at some winds into the teens, maybe getting up to about 20 miles per hour at that point. And it's south or southwest west wind, so temperatures are rising at that point. By afternoon, those daytime temperatures will be above zero and maybe even into the double digits above in more locations with a couple of spotty areas of cloud cover making its way through, but really just looking at some mostly clear and sunny skies for the daytime hours. Heading into Friday night, we keep that wind up so temperatures don't drop as much. We'll have to watch out for a little bit of light blowing snow for your Friday uh, and Friday night, I should say, and into Saturday with breezy conditions. A clipper is going to pass by to the north of us, so just some wind associated with it, not as intense as the clippers that have moved through, and we warm up. And as we head into next week and start March on the first day of meteorological spring on the first, we're looking at conditions that kind of make us think a little more of spring as well, so that's something to look forward to. Spring is on the horizon. Oh, it's, it <laughs> is. You know, it, it's going to be here before we know it. I know it's been a rough winter, but uh, we've got uh, most of it behind us now. Thank you, Lee.